Here's a big Jeannot. Look at this thing. Look at this. Look at the pilot house on this. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's got a big scoop. He's got a nice cushion seat, but no one else gets one. And look, it's, got, it's got a split back stay. Look at the power's right there on the back. We're nice. Actually, kind of nice to have it right there, not on the side. Yep, yep, yep. So I got the whole Conestoga wagon canvas on it. Mm -hmm. So look at the big windows here. Mast in the, in the, uh, the sail and mast. It's got a. <coughs> yeah, in the mast for rolling. Who has that? <coughs> Most of these boats have, sorry. <coughs> Most of these boats have in the mast for rolling. Okay, yeah. That's because you can do it. Well, it's better to have in the boom. Now. It's got a lot of solar on there too, huh? Yeah, I like both of those. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you have sun, you have wind, and a lot of times you have both. Okay. Now, what do we have? What do we have here, man? What do we have here? We have a C and C. This looks like a thirty-five. This is a Mark II, though. Yes. This is a Mark II 35. I'm pretty sure it's a 35. Look at this. Oh yeah. No, this boat. You can. You can. I mean, this is the this is the performance cruiser of the 1970s. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it still is, man. Yeah. Yep, comfortable. Again, no seat for the pilot. The helmsman. No, but they got him on either side. This is the same as my dad's boat. We had that. The, no, the seats on either there. side. I, no, no, that's not how I, I would be like. I know. Yeah. Well, you can you can add them. You can add ones where you sit like behind the wheel. And you can sit, you know, you got a place to sit when you're healed and all that stuff. Yes. See, they just, they just, the they just clip the, to the tow, tow they, they clip the house, how you see the tow rails. See, that's, a, that's how you do that. Yes. Oh, Grab wow. it, you know, put it on the sail. And then look at that, there's a, there's a chain uh, plates. Pretty mild, weak, small. Well, those are just, those are just the plates on top of them. Okay. The underneath. actual chain plates are on bulkheads down below. And they're substantial. Oh, okay, got no, it. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 okay. no. That, that isn't just on those that, that isn't just like screwed onto <laughs> the deck. No, there, there's a there's the there's metal that goes down and is on both sides of uh -huh. of, a, of a bulkhead. Damn. Nice CNC. Very impressive. Yeah. Oh, this is a great boat. I love it. I love it. Great boat in its day. It still is. They do yeah. well. Didn't want to miss this boy. Uh. -uh. Good. There are going to be some good choice ones. Now, what do we have over here? Well, uh, this is a this is an Ericsson. Ericsson. And see the characteristics. Say it, any, say it anywhere. Uh, it has a logo on it. Yeah. So, so you know, characteristics of an Ericsson. First of all, the the fixed port lights. They have that characteristic shape. Okay. And then the Coastrip has this kind of concave little leading edge to it. Mm -hmm. I see okay. that. Yes, I see that. Okay. And you come back here, so yeah, it's definitely. And then usually the back of the cove stripe has, yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. You see, like that little helm, the little Viking helmet with the horns. Yes. That's the Ericsson. That's the Ericsson logo. Get a concept of that one. This is this is a fairly modern Ericsson. This is uh, this has got to mm -hmm. be like one of the later ones. Right, right. Look at the twin, twin port lights for the, uh -huh. the V-berth. Uh -huh. Quarter berth, yeah. Quarter berths, yeah. You can see there's just one lazarette on this side. Yeah. Yours doesn't have anything. That other side has no opening. Neither does mine. There you go. So this is this is nicely. Is very similar. Yeah. I relate to this. Nicely boat. done. It's got good. This got this got decent canvas on it. 
again, you know, I'd, I don't want to take those, roll up these uh, things, you know. Yeah. Just, I don't know. It would look better without any of that. Well, it looks, if you need it, that's nice to have. <clears throat> it is. Great boat. Yeah, that's a very, really now great look, boat. I mean, you stand look back over that. here, stand back over and take a look at that Ericsson, and look at the CNC, they're very, they have a, they have a different kind of shear line, the CNC is much more definite because it has the slotted tow rail, Yeah. the Ericsson's got a little bit of that, a little bit of that a Clorox pump bottle pump boat going, it's got that little bit, you know, it's got that raised rail, that's part of the deck, part of the molding for the deck. Yes, you see that? You got it. Yes, I do. Yeah, and and that'll keep you in, but you know you don't have a nice rail to to clip things. No, to. sorry, not at all. You have to have a track with a car on it, or you have to resort to the stanchion bases. Are you, you know. are you boat shopping? Well, we're always boat shopping, right? Oh. I mean, I have a boat, but I like to go around looking at other boats. Sure. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Is this your, this is an O'Day, right? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You like it? Yeah, we like it. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. It's old, so there's always a lot of work. But oh, yeah. <laughs> well, my tartan is 32 years old, so. so you uh, you know that story. We've been sailing for two months now. Oh. Brought it over from Vermilion, Ohio, up here on. Up around the mitten. Okay. Well, went through Georgian Bay and the North Channel. Yeah. You know? Neat. Oh, yeah. Destination, not the problem. Now, here's a hunter. Look at that hunter. I mean, what's what's going on with this thing here, man? Ooh, it's, it's, hard it's, to, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell what the hell is going, what's supposed to be going on here. I mean, it's just, eesh, I don't know. Not so. It doesn't hang together. The, the design doesn't really work, does it? No. It looks like 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 some discarded prop from a bad 1970s <laughs> science fiction movie that happened to have sailing right. in it. It wasn't sailworthy like this vessel is. Well, I mean, you, yeah, this is, see, this is a Catalina. Catalina. See, this is another Catalina 30. Remember, I, I, showed, I showed one of these to you in uh, White Lake. Well, if I ask you again at the end of the trip, So this is a Catalina 30. I want to put together their uh, photographs and their, their uh, numbers, their call signs, and follow them if they're on the road again. Yeah. Now look at this. No, you know, this is a, this is a good boat, you know. You know, it's got that big, it's got that big companionway hatch. How do you know it's a Catalina for sure? Because it's well, it's right how <laughs> it says it. Hey. But but you know, you recognize the style. The style is very yes. recognizable. Well, they take some good stuff from. From the CNC and tartan line with the windows. I don't know. Yeah, no, I don't see any no. resemblance here at all. Mm. There's no resemblance here to any to anything CNC makes. No quarter. No quarter. They're very. You know, here, eh? the Catalinas are beamy. You know, they've they've got that molded kind of rail, right? Yeah, they yes, got the, yes. Yes. They kind of raise the deck above the the hull shear to give you more space down below. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a decent sailing boat, though. You know, you'll get places in it. It's comfortable, it's safe. Split backstay like yours. Yeah. For a similar placement. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not to me. Oh, let's see. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Ah, okay. There's a CNC coming up here. Now I want to say this is a 34. Now I I was looking at CNC 34s for a while. I'm, Mark two. Mark I was thinking about buying a boat like this. Might be a 36. No, nah, it's a 34. Pretty sure it's a 34. It's a little weathered. It's a little distressed. For some reason they painted the deck black behind <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Mercer Mayer this this must be Mercer Mayer's boat huh? um, see how they painted the deck black 
little critter. <laughs> Behind the rail there? Yes. And that's that's a Mercer Mayer character from his books. Yeah, see? If they took the wheel off. Mm-hmm. Took the wheel home, I guess. I don't know. Uh I mean you you can see what's going on here, right? I mean explain to me what's going on here. Photograph right now. Okay. Well, look at this guy. It's you know, pretty everything on here everything on here does something. That's right. It's got that single uh it's got that backstay. Look at that turnbuckle on that That's thing. Huge. And right then there. see that black cylinder there? Yeah. That's a hydraulic backstay adjuster. Oh. Usually like the pump is in the lazarette that has the handle on it when you pump uh -huh. it. Because you know, like 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 whenever we get ready to go sailing. Right there? Or maybe they put it there. I don't know. No, no. Usually they they put it someplace else. You have to have it in the lazarette mm -hmm. or something, and then you pump it up, and it's got a little gauge on it that tells you the pressure. You know, Power yeah, but, on the inside. you know, fifteen hundred pounds might might be a typical uh, tension that you put on that. Keeps the. Looks like it needs a little uh, tuning up. They probably yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it go slap a little bit. Well, that's a double. I mean, I mean, I mean you got to go up. It's good. You got to go up in a bosun's chair to tune this rig properly look at all of the placements you have along there on the the gunnels mm-hmm I mean anywhere everywhere yeah Plug in. this has a track like my boat has for the sheets yes, right that's right see the see the Jenny sheets go up yeah right through that block there and they're cleated on the mm -hmm. go to the winch yeah this is a cool boat Again, needs a little, needs a little TLC. Yes. Just, you know, if you wet sand the cabin sides, it will bring the, bring the gloss back. Okay, here's a, a beautiful tug. Yeah, that's a nice little tugboat there. There's something about that. Yeah. Some, uh, open spots. Yeah, let's see. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure what this one is here. I'm not sure what this one is. No, no, no. It's a Watkins. It's a Watkins. Must be like a British boat or something. Oh yeah, you see the prize here, right? <laughs> you see what we really came to see. Oh my god. I think this is an Irwin. Maybe or maybe it's a Pearson. I don't know. Oh no, I think this is a Pearson. No, it's an Irwin. This is a this is an Irwin, kind of a middle kind of a middle tier mm -hmm. sailboat. Happy as a clam. Happy as a clam. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but ha, ha, ha. and now we come to the top of the mountain, at least for this dock. All right, here comes the writing on the sky. Okay. And now we come. We're coming to the top of the mountain here. Oh, ho, ho. This, this is a Tartan 4000. It's a Tartan 4000, man. Now, Rick sold one of these uh, about 10 years ago. I wonder if this is the boat. Right, look at that. Now come back here, man. Look at this. Look at this. Dual helm. <laughs> look at how wide it is. Look at how wide the cockpit is. God, you could sleep. I know. But then, like, you got another binnacle right in the middle here. That's right. It's got a really nice aft cabin. 
and the binnacle uh, would share instruments. There's a radio. Probably each side has a radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They each kind of, you know, they each have a compass. Look at, that, and look at the tartan. The case is just like yours with a simple design. Yeah. Very. Well, oh, that that's that's a ray mic. Yeah, ray it's a ray mic. Okay. So, see, and like you got like. Uh, oh yeah. Wow. I mean, like you got a pocket boom here. And you got the got the stack pack that zips up like that. Look at you got you got four lazy jack like you got like these cascading lazy lazy jacks, and then that that zips up. I want to get that for mine, man. And then uh, and yeah, you know all the lines come back to the cockpit. You got the mul you got the clutches there that all share the one big winch. Right. Uh, let's see. Does this winch have? No, this is just a manual winch. Good. Good. It doesn't need it. It doesn't need a electric winch. Oh, those are electric winches there. You see, like there's those winches on the combing. Yeah. And the buttons. Yeah. Down below, those are electric winches. You push that button and it turns the winch. There's like a motor in there, and man, it. Wow. And man, you you, you got to be careful with those. Okay. Because they 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 exert a lot of force on a line. <clears throat> Yeah. Chart and top of the line. Top of the mountain for the U.S. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at all the little hatches you got. It's, it looks in excellent shape too. Oh yeah, it is. I mean, it's got some bird poop on it and stuff. The cost on this. Oh, uh, oh, what this cost? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Four hundred thousand. Okay. There you go. I don't know if it's worth that now. I mean, when it was new, it was probably four hundred thousand, maybe four hundred fifty. Yeah, look at that. Look at that mm -hmm. bowsprit. Look at the look at the chocks of the lines yes. come through and the windlass. Yes. And you got these two furling head sails that are right next to each other. Right. So you wouldn't the outer that as a staysail, or st yes, it still would be. Nah, this is called the CCR rig. It's a sloop, but it's it's a, it's a CCR sloop, cruise control rig sloop. Wow. Okay, well, quite a profitable one. To, uh, what a what a what a way to end this pier. Yeah, man. And, and of course, you just the next pier over. Hello. Yep. Oh, yeah. There we are over there. So yeah, the old CNC here. See, there's another Catalina over there. Yeah. More Catalinas. There's Catalinas everywhere, man. Everywhere. So how many miles? Hmm. Hello. Many forms. Well, I mean, yeah. Look, look at the just look at look at all the variations yeah. in style of the boats. You know. You know. I mean, the, this this Chinook is very comfortable. It's got lots of room. And look, I mean, the think about how big that main saloon is yeah. with those big windows. Damn. So. Yeah. Doesn't say what model it is. They usually have the model numbers on there too, so you can look them up. And but I mean, I can find this on. Uh, I mean, the the pilot house on his on this is very characteristic. So you know, it's kind of unique for that model. So it's pretty easy to identify once I get on Yacht World. Yeah. Get a half hour there alone. Well, yeah. So this place looks like it's shut down for the summer. Well, the pool is for sure. Yeah, I don't know whether they'd be having any restaurants 
open or anything. I think we're gonna eat a lot of peanut butter today. If they would have been doing it right now, there'd be people out here having their five o'clock meal. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. This is an Islander 36. We used to race these. Islander 36. Yeah. We used to, my, my dad's boat, the, the CNC 35s and the, and the Islander 36s were pretty evenly matched, so they'd race boat for boat. Oh yeah. <clears throat> and as, as remembered as I am by those little tugs, the tuglet. Yeah. It's not the vehicle that I want. No. I mean, I thought, oh, well, you could just go take that place and then go kayaking afterwards. No, uh huh. The motor, the motorless. It's Friday. And it's 70, man. Here's another nice, here's another nice, uh, sloop, yeah. There's Hunter. And here, once again, we come back, as we do every time, we come back to the Skylark. Uh, my jib's not furled right. I gotta pull that out and refurl it again. I, I think it was because it was all flapping around that it ended up that it ended up furled that way. Ah. Uh. 